pit shots. Are you good at them? Are you not? Why you've clicked on this video? It's probably because you're not good at them. So what we're going to talk about today is hopefully how to do them like that. Fingers crossed. But there's something out there that most golfers are constantly doing wrong when it comes to pitching where you just can't hit a good pitch shot from. You just can't do it. So what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about one really good drill that will solve your pitching woes. So I'm Jonathan Chan with Jay Chan Golf at Crondon Park Golf Club in Essex. Today, we're going to make you master that pitch shot with one simple drill. So guys, pitching the golf ball. Really, there's some key elements there that we really need to focus on and some things that we really see most golfers who struggle with pitching don't do any of these key elements. So really even just knowing a few of them is gonna make a big difference. And that's what this drill is gonna be for as well. So let's talk a little bit about what goes wrong with some pictures of the golf ball. So this is talking about consistency, flight, just anything you can possibly imagine with what can go wrong with pitch shots, chunking, thinning, what have you. So what I do see on a, a regular basis is one, golfers with really a very wide stance, almost like a full shot and a very, very inactive chest where Everything is governed by the hands and arms. If this might look a little bit familiar, golf is really flipping and casting at that shot to be able to hit the ball. So really getting really handy, really armsy, no chest rotation at all. Now with pitching, we need chest rotation. We need constant movement of that chest going through the ball. If you look at any of the best pitchers in the world, let's say a Luke Donald, for example, you'll see him with nice, consistent, rotation of that chest coming through the ball. So what we need there and what we need first, we need to, if you're a golfer who sets up to that ball like a full shot, we can't be having that with pitch shots. We've got to have a narrower stance. Why that is because with a pitch shot, we're not swinging that far back. We're hitting a little shot there. Because we've got that narrower stance is because with our short swing, we won't have the amount of time to shift our weight and do everything like we need to do in the golf swing and rotate. Our lower body won't be able to work fast enough. So we need that narrower stance to take out the lower body movement to some extent in the golf swing or in the pitching swing anyway. Because if I can get, let's say, my shorter stance there with my weight more so on your 80% forward, I don't need to shift my weight there. I can just rotate my body through because that weight is always on my front foot because we won't be able to, for this little swing, have a, a little white shift and be able to comfortably control our distance. We'll hit it long, we'll hit it fat. It's anything can happen. So what we know, we need, yep, that little bit, just a reminder, most of you guys probably know this, that weight forward, making sure that weight is staying forward there. Now it's all about the chest rotation. We want none of this with those arms. None of this where those hands are really taking over that club head. No rotation of the body there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a drill with an alignment stick. So with that alignment stick, what we're going to do, if we do our old flippy motion for the ball, all hands and arms, it's going to hit my side every single time. So I don't want it to hit my side. I want it to be going around me. See, if I can get this stick staying around me, see how I'm going to get nice chest rotation again nice chest rotation there so by me keeping this stick away from me going through i'm going to be rotating nicely around me so we know weight nicely forward narrow stance and negate our lower body movement now we just want good little chest rotation back and through the shot there we go nicely clipped there when we do this, we're using that, those big muscles to govern our strike of the shot. So we're gonna be a lot more consistent. And you can see there how I'm gonna constantly be able to just get that nice movement there, that nice rotation. I'd really recommend most of you out there to do this without a ball first, just to feel good rotation through the shot. We want continuous movement. So a drill like this is gonna give us instant feedback and we need that instant feedback there to be able to hit good pitch shots. Here we go, so one more. Nice narrow stance, weight 80% forward. We're keeping that weight there and I'm wanting this chest to continue to rotate. That's the best one yet. Oh, that's almost in. Not as good as the first one. So we need that continuous chest rotation as well. Let's see it from the other angle as well, what we need to do chest rotation wise. So guys, what we can see from the front on angle there, we could see really what we need to do with this drill to be able to rotate through so what we're going to do just going to have a little look at this angle to see what it looks like from the down the line 
and again going over what we need to go through. So if we have a swing or a pitch shot where we're very much hands and armsy, you're going to see here, not much rotation going on there. A chunk there where you can relate to if you're one of these pitchers of the golf ball. See how my chest has stayed pretty static. I'm not going to want to do that. I want to need to rotate through. So again, our alignment stick up our left hand, gripping it up the left hand side of the golf club if we're a right-handed golfer. We're going to be forced here. We know with our little setup changes to really rotate that chest freely through the ball. So again, let's do a good one here. Freely through the ball. Let's see if we can hold it again. Now that's long, but we can see really nicely freely rotating that chest through the ball. So let's throw that away. I know here, right, I know the feeling that I need to create now of really rotating my chest nicely through, controlling the pitch shot with my big muscles, not my hands and arms. So I know that feeling from doing reps with that stick. Let's try one more there. Really rotating that chest nicely through, weight on our front leg, 80%. We're keeping that weight there the whole time. Rotating that chest back and through. That was a good one. Good. So guys, use your big muscles when you're pitching. Don't be hands and arms here. We know it's a short little shot, but don't be tempted into using those hands and arms. And for sure, if you're setting up like a full shot, we need that weight being more forward because we haven't got the time to weight shift and rotate like we normally do with a lower body with a full swing. Got the time with the upper body. We need to make sure that stance is narrower. And then weight forward, rotating through to get ourselves in a nice, consistent place to hit some good pitch shots. If you struggle with pitching, give this a go. So if you enjoyed that video, guys, please like, please press subscribe and click that bell button to be notified every time I pull up a video. So if you want to hit pitches like I did at the intro of this, get practicing this, get that chest moving and you'll hold some pitch shots for sure.